Hello everybody, welcome back to the Minecraft tutorial and in this one I'm gonna show you a terrifying scoreboard command. Not really, it's very simple. I know some of you guys find it very hard to understand. I did especially in the beginning when I didn't know anything about the scoreboard command. It was just so confusing. So I will explain now how the basics of it, how you can use it and how useful it is when including in command block builds. So. How about we just get started into the tutorial. First thing you're gonna do is of course open the chat. You're gonna type slash scoreboard. You can press tab to finish out the command. And if you do space and click tab again, as you can see, these uh, commands uh, come as, comes up in chat. Objectives, players and teams. So <clears throat> I think the objectives is the most advanced thing. So we're gonna take that to the last. We're gonna start by doing the teams. We can just uh, scoreboard, then teams, press tab. If you press enter, you can see scoreboard, teams, list, add, remove, empty, join, leave option. I know I already did a tutorial on this, but I will just go through it really quick. And uh, yeah. Uh, for, you can, uh, if you haven't created any team, you're gonna do teams, add, we're gonna do test team and uh, press enter and we create the test team. So we're gonna do scoreboard teams option. And if you don't know, you can do, you got all this here. And I know them and like by hand, so I don't have to look at them. But we just do teams option, press enter. And you can see all these options we can do with uh, teams here. Um, let's see, we're gonna do color for example. If that would work. Oh right, we need the team name. Team name. Uh, the team the name was test, of course. Then we're gonna do color. Whoops. Excuse my typing. There. Uh, we got all the colors displayed here. We can just do, for example, blue. Now, if we uh, scoreboard teams join test. We are now in the uh, test team, so if we type something, we are blue. This is very useful when we're making vanilla rank system or a game mode, or anything that has to do with teams. You can change collision rules, player damage, like PvP, and you can disable everything like that, and yeah, what the team does. I hope that makes sense to you. I'm just gonna leave the team now. If you wanna leave, you just do teams, leave, then the username. But I'm no longer blue. Now we got the teams uh, finished. We can do scoreboard. We got players. Here we got. Uh, uh, let's see. It's so you can add a score to a player and uh, stuff. If you have a, a money system, you can do scoreboard players, then add, and then the scoreboard name. We'll come to that in a second. Uh, if it sounds confusing, it's all right. I will explain it very soon. But if you have a money system, you can add money, for example, add and you, uh, your player name. But I don't have any of these, uh, what's it called, uh, objectives. So we cannot use the player's tag yet. Almost, like, we need to create the functions for it. So we're gonna do objectives, and if we press enter, we can see what comes up. What do we want to do? We want to add an objective, so we just type add, and here you can see name, criteria type, and display name. I'm gonna add, uh, let's see, money. We're gonna, criteria type is very important that if you have a money system, for example, I'm just taking this as an example, you don't have to do it like all the time, but uh, dummy is that so no players can change it manually by themselves. And this is very important when making a money system because you don't want the players to cheat themselves money. So we're gonna do dummy. I know it sounds pretty dumb, but yeah. And we're gonna do a display name. So if we would, for example, display it on the side, it will say, uh, and we have a display name, of course. We're gonna do capital M money. So it looks a bit more professional. Press enter and now the objective money has been added. So we do scoreboard objective set display sidebar, then money, and as you see, it's the small m. 
it's due to the first name that we created. So we do, we do sidebar money. If you, if you press enter, nothing will happen. And it's because uh, the scoreboard objective has no data values in it. And here is when the scoreboard players comes in. So we're gonna do scoreboard players set, or we can do add my player name or the player name that you want to change. We're gonna do money, and this is how much we want to set it to. I can set it to 100. Press enter, as you can see, money now says 100. Uh, this is very, very useful. Like, I have, uh, for example, 100 money now. We, and if you want a per, per case system, you can do this command in a command block, then remove, we're gonna do for example 10. I should now have 90. As you can see, it removed 10 money from me. It's very, very useful uh, when making this system. And another thing that I want to talk about is the trigger. The trigger is a essential part of the um, scoreboard uh, commands. So we can, for example, and it's a part of the objective. So scoreboard objectives add, we're gonna do test underscore trigger. And this is the, um, what's it called, criteria type. Remember we did dummy. We can, instead of dummy, we're gonna use trigger. And triggers allows people to use the command and change it by themselves. So we're gonna do test underscore trigger again here. And now the trigger has been added. So if we do trigger set, whoops, test trigger set, uh, let's do 50. Oh, wait, we have to enable it for us. The scoreboard objectives, if I can. Oh, it was scoreboard players. And we are gonna enable and test trigger. Play name test trigger. I apologize. There, it's enabled now for me. And I can do, and uh, I can change it now, but only once due to it, it will be enabled once, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, as you see, once I change it, it will reset itself and not be able to, and I will not be able to change it. So if we want to display my trigger, we can do scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, test trigger. As you can see, my trigger is set to 50. If we just uh, enable it again for me. And we can set it to 100. My test trigger is now 100. And this is probably familiar to do with, uh, with you with uh, slash spawn command in vanilla. Uh, it's that we just uh, set it to one, a command block sees that I got it to one, it teleports me to the location and sets my trigger to zero. Like it resets itself. And it also enables it all the time. There we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is just the basics of it. There is so much, much, much more that you can do. If you do objective set display, then uh, you, you got all this below name, and it will only be visible, for example, to cybar.team. This is the team that you want only display it for, for example. If you have a team and you want to display a private score, you can set it to that team so they can only see it. I hope that makes sense. I do apologize for bad explanation. I'm not really good at explaining. Sorry, uh, but uh, we got a list. We can, uh, for example, set my money system to the list. And this is when you press tab. As you can see, next to my name, it says 90. That's my value at the moment, the money value. And uh, if you have like a heart system, like you can see player's health, you can do scoreboard objectives, add, can do health. Whoops. Yeah, I, I suggest don't press tab when adding objectives like this because you can see how much stuff it prints out. But uh, you can do objective health, health. And this will be the player health. So just display name health. 
Now, if we do scoreboard objectives, set display sidebar. Excuse my typing, we can do health. Uh, it's because I'm in game mode one, let's see. I'll just take some damage. As you can see, my, my health is now displayed on the scoreboard. So, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to see more like this, just uh, leave it in the comments, feedback, what you think and what you don't think. And yeah, thank you so much for uh, uh, helping me reach 32 subscribers. We are almost on our way to 100 subscribers, hopefully, to summer. So yeah, thank you everyone and have a good day.